Hello guys, welcome to my channel Adam and Algorithm. This is Surain. In this video, we are going to see how to parent and unparent an object dynamically during runtime. There are several situations you may have to do that during runtime. Uh, for example, for today, I'm going to show you this one quick example. Let me quickly play this um, game. And as you can see, I have a very simple character movement and I have a moving platform. So I'm going to just try to move um, on top of this platform. Oops, sorry. Yeah, as you can see, um, I, I'm unable to stand on the platform, correct? And this might be most of the cases. You know what, it's, it's not so realistic and if you're developing a platformer, obviously you may have to achieve um, yeah, stability on top of your platform. So what we're gonna do is, at the end of this video, the following effect is what we are going to learn. I'm gonna just enable this script we are going to do in this. And after you apply that simple uh, script, this might be oops, what you are looking at, as you can see. Uh, so we dynamically parented our uh, player character with the moving platform. When you actually move away from it, the parenting goes away. Okay, so this is the fact we are looking at. Uh, this is just a very small example. There are several locations that you may um, actually need this effect. I'll give you one more idea. You might have played a game called uh, a snake that actually eats up uh, dots in a different uh, position of the pixel. Uh, I mean in your screen and the snake, the length of the snake actually grows. Uh, that's one of the example like how you can able to keep adding uh, the stuff that is on the screen as a child. Okay, maybe worst example. Well, I'm not sure. Okay, so let's quickly go ahead and see how to do that. Before I show you, I'm gonna just clear up my project uh, so that I can show you everything uh, from the scratch. Okay, and we are back. So now my project is neat and clean and let's quickly see what are the objects I do have in my project. Uh, first of all, I have uh, several copies of my prefab of the wood pad and Especially there is only one wood pad which is moving left and right because as you can see I have an animator attached to it and What do I have in my um, project window is I do I just categorized all my animation files into this folder And I have a prefab of the moving platform and these are the scene views and I have a, a player sprite and a wood sprite and of course a script that moves the player so this is not our concern as of now because in this video we are going to concentrate how to uh, parent and unparent an object. So let's get on with it. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna identify the moving platform, which is um, this one. Okay, so I'm gonna choose that moving platform. I'm gonna go and create a new script saving uh, moving platform script. Okay. Oh, such a long name. Okay. So there we go. Wait for it to compile. Um, yep, that's done. So let me quickly go ahead and edit it. So first thing we may have to do is we need to detect when our player is going to um, stand on the object. I mean the moving platform. So we're gonna say um, can be public. So it's not a big deal. So public rule uh, is on. Um, no, this is on moving platform. Well, I'm gonna say it false by default. So uh, the next thing is obviously we may need our player. So public game object my player. Okay. So what we're gonna do is how we are going to detect uh, that these things happens. If you watch closely. My player has a box collider on it, so obviously it can detect collision and also it has a rigid body component attached. So this is vital for this. Rigid body is responsible for physics calculations and box collider is responsible for collision and triggers. Well basically it's not a trigger, see, it's not a trigger. And the other one is the wood pad, the moving platform ha also has a box collider and this is a script which we have created as you can see we have a boolean now because it's a public and 
something is waiting for our my player which is we will be doing it pretty soon now so what are the other things that you need to be uh, clear about is as you can see I have selected my player object and I have assigned the tag player to that because we are going to use that in the C sharp script the first thing is we need to detect when our player go and stand on this platform we need to know somehow okay so for that we are going to use collision deduction and of course for that we will have a very powerful command called on collision enter 2d so I'm gonna say private on collision enter 2d collision 2d other other is obviously please remember we are writing this code on our moving platform so this word other stands for our player which means any other object that is going to collide with our moving object so we need to know for sure whether the other object which is colliding is our player or not so how to do that is we are going to compare the tag as i mentioned before this is exactly why we have tagged our player as player now if oops sorry yeah 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 sorry if other dot game object dot compare tag is going to be player then what happens so we say that our boolean is going to be true because this is how we know the other object which is colliding with ours is our player so we're gonna say this boolean is on moving platform is false by default so we're gonna say is on, is moving is on moving platform is equal to true oh god i just made the name really long it's really difficult for me to pronounce now this on moving platform is equal to true and what happens is after the collision is finished if our player is leaving at the time also we would like to know so at the time instead of enter it's going to be exit exit to the collision to the other if the other game object which is leaving from the collision is tagged as player then obviously it's not on the platform so we are going to say false so what happens now is when entering the collision if the other object happened to be our player it's going to be true this condition when it is leaving it's going to be false now since we know that now the next thing we need to do is we need to find a way to apply this moving platform as the parent or not how to do that is in update function because we need to check at every frame at what frame the player is entering so in the update function we are going to say if is moving platform which means if this condition is true then what we need to do is game object that which is not game object we have already declared our game object as my player so we are, so we are gonna use the same my player dot game object oops sorry my player dot and go for transform dot set parent so in here you need to tell to which thing you are going to set as a parent so we are going to take our player and set it as a child of this dot transform which means I told you before this script belongs to whatever whatever we are writing here it's belong to the moving platform so if this condition is true we are taking our player and making as a child which means set parent to this this dot transform means the transform belongs to our moving platform okay so now my player dot transform set parent this dot transform else this condition is very important because if this condition is true which is there is a tick mark if it is true do this if it is not then do what so we need to make sure our transform is not parent to anything so instead of saying this dot transform we will assign it to null null means nothing so we'll go back now and wait for that to compile and go here and this is our script and let's check the condition oh compilers sorry assembly c sharp dll failed okay i think i did not compile it properly maybe this i'll go back here 
just one second what's wrong with this maybe you need to save the file save save all okay let's go back here okay so everything is variable my player oh of course thank you unity I used to forget most of the time okay in this oh sorry in our moving platform remember we actually have uh, a public game object because we are identifying our player so we need to drag and drop our player so now everything is fine so let's go ahead and check that everything works fine okay so here we go oops my jump there we go okay if you notice okay if you if you guys notice this area okay whenever our player is going to be on the top of this platform you can see our player is moved under the wood pad as a child right here okay and you can see a small you know the, the inverted triangle okay so how it works is I'm gonna just move this and I double click and the space yeah there we go okay as you can see now it's right here okay and whenever you move away from it it actually goes back to the normal so this is exactly uh, how you can able to make it um, works as usual we have actually kept our logic in this uh, beginner level tutorial as simple as possible and anyway so if you have come this far in this video I think you like the content of this video and the channel so have fun guys I'll come back uh, with my another simple tutorial with a very simple logic pretty soon and take care all of you I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye-bye.